Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Yeah, we're back on Euro lorries and we're going to be exploring some more uncharted territory. Currently we're down in Swansea in the MAN TGX, which we drove down through the heart of Wales. There's a couple of other roads that we need to explore. I'm not quite sure why you would explore those, maybe if you're doing Newport to Liverpool or Swansea to Birmingham even, maybe Fishguard to Birmingham, I, I mean... The roads do look like, would it be that much quicker than going along and up the uh, up the M5? I don't know. But yes, we are down in Swansea and we're going to be doing a run down to Plymouth through Exeter. It's not the furthest run in the world, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see how we get on. Right, let's get it fired up. Get the old uh, electric map on. So we need to, where are we actually going to? In Swansea. We're going round towards the Euro Acres, which again is good. This road here is in grey. We've not explored it yet, so that's exciting stuff. Let's, uh, yep, yeah, we've not got the handbrake on. I have a horrible feeling we're not going to make it round here and make a complete holix of the whole thing, but I think we might have just done it. Who'd have known that lorries could make U turns like that? Apparently they can. Yeah, so we are using Pro Mods. There's a link in the description where you can find Pro Mods. Truckers MP were not on. A couple of people had asked in the comments section last time if we can do more on Truckers MP. Uh, we will be doing at some stage. I want to be able to do uh, more convoys because we really enjoyed the convoy, didn't we, that we did on the live stream. Uh, but unfortunately, there's not really a lot of point in uh, in doing Truckers MP on my own, especially when we are driving in Britain. That would be a car. <laughs> oh god, where did he come from? For crying out loud, never mind. Well, I've only got 1% damage to my vehicle, so it could be worse, couldn't it? Um, yeah, what was I saying then? Before I was so rudely interrupted by someone daring to drive across. I think you'd find as well, that was my right of way. Um, yeah, particularly in Britain, you don't tend to find that many people online in Britain. Um, you know, there's not that many people to see. So when I'm driving on my own, I tend to just leave the uh, leave it off Truckers MP with all the AI traffic on. I think that's uh... right. Here we go. What are we actually delivering then? Let's have a look. You have no delivery job. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, we've not picked it up yet. Let's uh, let's pick it up first, and uh, we'll see how we get on from there. This is actually quite a pretty little road, isn't it? It's a very nice little road. Uh, what time are we on? Oh, we're on eight o'clock at night, so we might be doing uh, we might be doing a bit of nighttime driving here. Flipping at Joe, you imbecile! Right, okay. This is going to be late, isn't it? Yeah, this this delivery is going to be late. We're not going to get paid. Oh well, never mind. I should really have slept and then taken the delivery, shouldn't I? Flipping at, there's not a lot of space for lorries to turn around either. Why have you put a greenhouse in the middle of your uh, in your car park? There we go. Right, so we are on Cargo Market, and we're going to be going to Plymouth. Where are we? Swansea to Plymouth. That's the one. Not got a Plymouth that makes us more. No. It's going to be making £41.35 a mile. That is actually reasonably respectable. It's not the best by any stretch. Uh, right, should we go right and round this way? I think we shall. Uh, the £41.35 isn't the best that we can do anymore, but when you think back to when we started, if you were getting £41 a mile, that's a, a reasonably respectable uh, value, isn't it? So, uh, oh, for goodness sake, where are you going to have us reversing in here? Well, that's just ludicrous. Right, OK, we'll, we'll pull right up to there, and then we'll, we'll kind of go around here. Try not to hit that. Right, there we go. I think that that will be fine. Possibly. Possibly not. There we go. Right. Oh. We're going to whip that trailer out where I can, can just see it. I, I can't really work out. We are past it, aren't we? Yes. Right. Oh, good news. Good stuff. I don't think we're going to get round. I think we might have just taken that a little bit wide. Oh, no. Of course we are. You've got it. Right. Okay. Now we'll, oh, that's a wall. Right, okay, what it might be better off doing, I could have probably gone in there, that's fine. It's just drawing forward and, uh, you were told when I did my bus test you were allowed to draw forward and correct. I think you were allowed to draw forward, uh, once or maybe twice, just to correct it. I didn't have to, I passed it first time, would you believe? Uh, right, there we go. Yeah, I passed my reversing without having to draw forward, so that was lovely. Right, we'll load the cargo. 
It's now nine o'clock at night. We'll get a nice sunset. Uh, and then as soon as it actually goes completely dark, we'll start looking for somewhere to stop. How's that sound? Follow the route to the target company. Have we got our headlights on? Yes, we do. I think I just drive around with them permanently on. I never used to when I was playing truckers uh, on my own, when I was playing Euro Lorry's single player. But since, uh, since driving on Truckers MP, where of course you have to have your lights on, otherwise you get kicked. What's he doing? I thought we were having a wee in a bush. Flipping heck. <laughs> If you're going to wee in a bush, at least go somewhere remotely private, where you might not be seen. Right, yeah, let's have a look. What are we carrying? We are carrying uh, peas. Ah, lovely. Right, okay, so we've got 19 hours and 21 minutes to do it. Do you think that it's factored in my rest stop, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe it has. Well, if it has, that's not a problem, because obviously that's that's fine. We'll pull in at the next one. He's going to start yawning any minute, and then I'm going to start yawning, and you guys are going to start yawning, and before I know it, I've put everybody to sleep. And for those of you that said that my videos usually put you to sleep, that was quite rude. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right, so we're off up here. I'll stick in this lane, even though I need to be in the right-hand lane further up. We'll, uh, we'll stick in this lane, and then just move over later. And it's, uh, oh yeah, I forgot this lorry's not very powerful. How heavy are these peas? Lead peas? 18 tonnes of peas. So that is more or less full of peas. Right, what we're going to do while we're on here, let's get a nice photo. I'm sure, going down to Cornwall, there will be nicer photos. I'm absolutely sure of it. But that's quite a nice, uh, quite a nice bit of uh, the way the sunlight goes like that. Look at me, I sound like I know what I'm on about, don't I? Right. 50 miles an hour. There's no point setting the cruise controllers, though we're not getting to 50 miles an hour up here. I think the actual only bit of this roundabout that we're about to go around now that I need to, uh, that I actually need to do is the bit that goes through the middle. I need to do like a fish guard to Bristol run. In fact, I don't even think, does, does this have, this doesn't have Bristol on it, does it? No, it doesn't. Oh, well, we can't go to Bristol. What sort of Euro Lorry's map doesn't have Bristol on? That's ludicrous. Right, we'll nip across into this lane while we're here. Right, that's annoying, because I think he's stuck. No, no, he's just going through on red. Oh, yeah, you, you just do what you want then, pal. Right, we'll stop there. I can hear a train. Can't see a train, but I can hear one. Right, off we go. So we're going. Where are we going? We're going, uh... There's, there's no... <laughs> M4 East. Why is there no M4 East? All of a sudden, I don't know where I am. Oh, look, the, the road markings come, come back and disappear. Why is that happening? That is a really, really terrible place to live, isn't it? In a terraced house right next to a motorway junction. Oh, M4 East. Right, we'll stick in this lane. Oh, there's a road coming off that obviously we can't use because it's not on the map. That doesn't go anywhere, but I, I didn't realise there was a... Oh, we've committed. We're going to get fined. There we go. Oh, hang on. We need to be in that lane as well. Not only have we been fined, but we're also in the wrong lane. I think this roundabout's possibly broken. Um, I mean, the, this lorry's not getting on the roundabout either. He sort of shunted forward a little bit. I'm not sure what's going on. There's a bit of witchcraft on the roundabouts in... Uh... Oh, look at that. He's going to crash into us now, isn't he? You better not do. Or I'll be blithering annoyed. No, he didn't. Just about. Oh, we're not making it up this hill, are we? Come on, lorry. I don't think I've ever seen anyone join a main motorway at 15 miles an hour before. <laughs> I think they need to make the slip roads ever so slightly longer, don't they, to build up a bit of speed. You hope that car's going to overtake. It could take you a hell of a long time to get where you're going if you want to sit behind me, mate. There we 
we go. We'll leave it on 60. What's that? Oh, no, the loan installments have come out. 8,676. Oh, it's a loss, isn't it? We could do with all the other drivers, just making a bit of money now. You know, make a bit of cash for me. seem like it's trying very hard, does it? I know that, obviously, it's trying as hard as it can do, because I've got my foot to the floor. Like, literally on the pedal. Right down to the floor. But it just, the engine, it's not revving, is it? It sort of feels like it's labouring a little bit. Yeah, next time that we've got an opportunity to stop, I'm going to do, because then hopefully we'll have a bit more daylight. There's not really any point as driving at night, is there? I mean, don't get me wrong, I do quite like a good evening drive time, but, uh, you know, we're, we're sort of here for the scenery. I don't really feel we can appreciate the scenery when you can't actually see the scenery. Oh, there's a warning triangle here. Who's broken down? Oh, flipping heck, he's smoking and all. Do you know? Right, let's just nip out of this lane here. Nobody in our blind spot, is there? He says not checking his blind spot. Well, they're in, otherwise we'd have felt them go clunk, wouldn't we? He's got a big digger on the uh, on the back of his lorry. I wonder where that goes then. That goes to Cardiff. Ah, oh, lovely. Well, we're not coming off there. I still can't believe they've not got Bristol on this thing. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's how you flash your lights. Yep. I always forget. I get it mixed up with OMSI, because OMSI I've got the uh, on the steering wheel. I use the Thrustmaster T300, so it's got like the um, the PlayStation X square triangle circle uh, on, the, on the steering wheel. And on OMSI I have X set up as the handbrake. Uh, on this I have X set up as the flashy flashers. Oh, hang on. Right, we'll uh, yeah, slow down a bit. It's down to 50. Oh, it's average speed. I'm about to go blasting through. Oh, no, okay. It didn't collar me. That'll do. Could have done with coming off here, really, couldn't I? Let's have a look on the old mini-map and see if we've got, uh, got somewhere to go to bed. There's a petrol station and a bed station. Well, we're practically there by then, aren't we? Tell you what, let's have a look around Newport. We've not been there before, have we? We'll come off at this next uh, this next junction. Get some more of that yellow... Uh... Oh, hang on. I don't know if we can come off at the next junction. Can we? It doesn't appear you can come off here. Oh, flipping heck, never mind. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to look around Newport another time, then, by the looks of things. It's an eastbound-only junction. Ah, never mind. Right, carrying on it is then. At least by the time we get there, it'll be nice and uh, nice and daylight when I do eventually get to bed. Can't believe we can't come off there. I'm right looking forward to it and all. Oh, but we have got a bit of uh, bit of yellow there if you look just on that little junction bit. That'll do. I don't know quite how the junction's going to work for turning right later, because we need to sort of come off and then go round to the right, don't we? And down towards uh, Cornwall. Devon and Cornwall. Come on, Laurie, you can make it with your 18 tons of bees. There we go. The yawning has started, everybody. <laughs> oh, dear. Come on, get your foot down. Let's let's do it. Let's get there. Oh, there's a police car. What on earth do you want? You've pulled a lorry over. Oh, no. The wrong thing to do would be to laugh. Yep, that'll be us having, uh, having the police. Mr. Plod or Ms. Plod following us. 
I don't think we can outrun them with 18 tons of peas. We might be able to outrun them without the 18 tons of peas if we were just uh, light loco, so to speak. If we just had the, uh, the the actual main lorry. I believe it's called the tractor, but I've never liked that expression, so we're not going to bother uh, with that. Right, hang on. I need to be in the right and two lanes, do I? It said Bristol right. Do I? No, it appears I'm going straight over the top. Midlands and southwest. Okay. Yes, I know, you're tired. Stop yawning. Fuck that. It is actually setting me off. Right, southwest, Bristol. Here we go. Flying over the top. And you can see where I came from last time. I think I did a London to uh, Swansea run. Come on, keep the momentum. This is awesome. Flying over the top. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, the, the bed thing's in red now. I'm going to start getting fined in a minute, aren't I? And usually when I get fined for being tired, it's when I'm like 100 metres away from the, the parking space to go to bed. I've planned it in. But I just don't quite make it in time. I think you get a few more warnings, don't you, on the map. Oh, three and a half, dry, three and a half thousand from Henry K. Cheers for that, Henry. Driver Henry K has levelled up. Look at that. Right, well, I'll tell you what. We'll have a little look at that when uh, when we get stopped for our rest break. It's, uh, oh, it's 11 o'clock at night now, isn't it? No, it's not. It's nearly midnight. It's very dark. Flipping heck. You can tell we've gone from a motorway with no street lights to... Uh, no, a motorway with street lights to a motorway with no street lights. It's uh, very, very dark indeed. It's just in everybody, Joe's surprised because it's dark at night time. Come on, we're nearly there. Services, half a mile. I'm going to assume that's not half a metre. It must be half a mile. Because if it's half a metre, we're flipping mist aren't we? Here we go, services. Off to the left. You are getting tired. Yes, I know. I'm, I'm trying to look at the map. Get off my map. There we go. Right, so we're going to just nip in here. We don't need fuel, so there's no point bothering. We'll just pull straight down. This is a really inconveniently placed truck stop, isn't it? Look at that. We'll be in everybody's way. We'll just roll to a stop. Brilliant. Right, let's get some rest. I think we need to be there by about 4 o'clock, don't we? 9.25 in the morning. Lovely. Right, we're on the way. So, let's just have a quick look at our uh, driver manager. So, who was it? It was Henry K, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, Henry K has made a delivery. He's levelled up. Ahmed's got... Uh, or M. Ahmed has got... Uh, Oh no, it's Ahmed M. Yeah, of course it is. Ahmed has made uh, quite a few deliveries. He's nearly there. Simone, again, nearly there. They've nearly got all their ADRs. Uh, so once we've got them, we'll work on uh, doing long distance, I think, as well. So they can start making some real cash. Apparently long distance and your ADRs are pretty much what you want to do. Because then you can unlock all the delivery types. And you can unlock as much of the, the world as possible. So, yeah, apparently they're the two ones to go for, first of all. Particularly when levelling yourself up. I mean, it doesn't really matter. When you're on Trucker's MP, you can just make your own job to wherever, no matter what level you are. Which is a little bit crazy, isn't it? Um, you can sort of bypass all that altogether. Which is how we got around doing the Barcelona run. When I hadn't got any... Uh, not Barcelona, um, Malaga. We went from London to Malaga, if you remember, on one of the live streams. If you didn't, go back and uh, watch that if you didn't catch it, because it was a really, really good run, actually. Um, yeah, we went all the way down to Malaga with a big convoy. 
and uh, yeah, I didn't have, I don't think I'd unlocked any of the long distance things, so it's, it's yeah, it's nice. Right, full steam ahead. I've got it on 50. Get it get it up to 60. Oh no, I have it on 60. It's just slow. My chronically slow M-A-N-T-G-X. T-G-X. T-J-X. That's something different, possibly. Maybe. Oh no, that helicopter. I hope he's not planning on landing on the motorway. That'd be all we need. He's circling, isn't he? Ah, I might be uh, the police dealing with something there. Are they waiting for somebody? It's, oh, they've, they've got that guy. Or oh, lass. What's wrong with me to assume it's a guy? Could be Thelma and Louise for all we knew. See, little things like that I like. I like the, the diversions. It's just a pain when the diversions happen and they affect you. But it's nice to just see, you know, a little bit of scenery traffic at the side of the uh, the motorway, police dealing with an incident. It's a lovely, it's a lovely thing that they didn't have to include. Like, you don't get things like that on firm bus. So that's just what sets Euro Truck apart. I mean, Euro Truck and firm bus are very comparable, aren't they, really, when you think about it? Because it's a similar sort of game, driving city to city. The world's not as big as what it probably should be, you know, the, the, man, shoot, it still takes you a flipping long time to get from one side to another, doesn't it, on this? But you know what I mean, Fernbus is very similar and it just lacks that, that depth that this has. I guess this has been under, uh, under development, in development, for a lot longer, so perhaps that's why, but uh, yeah. I just can't believe that I never actually got to Euro Truck sooner. Because, uh, you know, I, I didn't get this until, what, 2018, 2019, I think? It just never interested me. I, I really have missed out on so many years of this awesome game. this go to? Ah, so this is coming off for Exeter, right here. So we've discovered Exeter. We need to go and have a little plod round there later. Don't know if I'll do that on here or uh, on, on video, on stream or, or what. Maybe I'll just do it on my own uh, just to get all those yellow lines in. Because when we actually go, if we flick to the map, I know I keep flicking in and out of the map, but uh, we've explored 6.62% of the world. We obviously need to go up to Dreams and Sainsbury's. Odd to have them in the middle of nowhere. But uh, yeah, it's a shame we don't have to, right down to the very end. You can get the, oh, you can get the ferry. Lovely. Oh, there's so many brilliant things. I'd like to do more on the continent. I think I'm going to leave that on the live stream until, uh, until we've explored everywhere in Britain. There's so much to explore. I mean, how many videos have we done now and that massive live stream? We've not even hit 7% of the whole map. That's what I love about this game. And there's more DLCs on the way, isn't there? You know, there's... Uh, it's not springing to mind right now. There was the Heart of Russia DLC. That's gone awfully quiet. It's gone awfully quiet. One can only wonder why. massive bridge here. This is like the bridge on the M62, isn't it? Between uh, Huddersfield and Manchester. You know the one I mean? Massive bridge. I wonder if this is real. I often wonder, uh, with all the scenery that you see, how much of it is actually true to life. Because there's a lot of real sort of little landmarks, isn't there, that you can see. That just seems a little bit too not generic to not be real. Go on then. Link in the description to a picture of that real bridge. No, link in the comments. You link me to that. There we go, that's what I'm saying. Put a link in the comments to a real picture of that. There we go, we got there in the end. It's been a very long day. <laughs> I know I always sort of use that excuse, don't I, that it's been a very long day, but usually I've done a, a nine, ten hour shift at work and then I'm recording this, so I'm normally 
Like, absolutely. You know, I can barely see colours. That's why we talk so much absolute tripe while driving along. This looks like an Iveco coming past. Right, we're going to have another picture. While wow, we're there, look at that. Let's uh, let's go in photo mode. While we're flying up this hill, right. oh, that's that's beautiful. I like that. Look at that. Oh, we'll have one of them as well. Because you can never have too many, can you? You know my philosophy with uh, with taking photos, screenshots on this. Never have too many. Oh, you're uh, you're flying into there a little bit quick, aren't you? You're not pulling in. We're not going to let you out. Tell you what that looks like. The front of that lorry van type thing looks a bit like the front of a Siemens Vectron. And if you don't know what a Siemens Vectron is, just Google it. It's a European locomotive. They look very, very similar with sort of like the headlight layout. Just off the top of my head. Maybe that's what it was based on. I mean, it was probably based on an Iveco, because it looks like an Iveco, but, uh, yeah, I wonder. I wonder indeed. Oop, there we go. Keep flying down here. We're doing 60, and the limit is at 56, so we shouldn't really. Yellow Mini going past, and another yellow Kia of some sort. There's a lot of yellow cars in Cornwall, isn't there? Welcome to Plymouth, Britain's Ocean City. Lovely. That sounds really nice, doesn't it? Britain's Ocean City. Ocean City sounds like a city that you would come across in Pokemon. One of the Pokemon games. Probably the eighth gym leader out of all of them. You'd, uh, yeah, you'd, you'd come across. That'd be Ocean City, wouldn't it? In fact, you're probably going to tell me that there is one. That's why I'm saying it sounds like it, because there actually is one that I've forgotten about. Flying off down to the docks. Oh, because this is where we're dropping off. We're actually dropping off at the docks. Look at that bridge. Oh, I, I love pro mods. I really do love pro mods. Though, to be fair, this doesn't look very British. Ah, this is British. A broken roundabout. Lovely. Right, okay. Yeah, red lights. Everyone's going through. Well, do you know what? We don't have enough time to sit here and put up with this nonsense. So we're going to just... Excuse me, madam. If I can just squeeze through here. Can we Can we go through the, the foliage? Oh, we can. Look at that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think we just dealt with the situation as best we could, to be perfectly honest with you, didn't we? Right, what's this? This looks like a car dealership, if ever I've seen one. 8 to 22. Oh, maybe it's a service. It's, I don't know. What do I know? Railway bridge going over the top by the looks of things. I have done very well recently timing these videos to roughly half an hour, haven't I? Half an hour and we're arriving in Plymouth, we've committed. <laughs> there we go. Fly through those lights. I think we need to be in the right hand lane again. Oh, I love how we've got the shops in. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're about to tack out an ambulance. That's not going to look good on our uh, CV. We've got a Next, a Primark in the shops, a Starbucks. That's brilliant. Well, I don't think I've ever said that a Primark's brilliant, but uh, but you know what I mean. Like It's brilliant that they've put that level of detail in. Oh, there's another 8-22 over there. It's popular in Plymouth. I don't know, I don't know what it is. Flipping heck, it's a right little trek to the docks, isn't it? Continental Ferry. Oh, we 
can easily get through these lights, I think. They don't tend to change very fast, do they? 8 to 22 in front again. Is there something I'm missing here, or are they just recycling assets again and again? Is it like, does it mean something to Plymouth that I'm just ignorant of? Again, oddly sort of back street just before the docks. We've got to have another 8 to 22, haven't we, before we go? No? Oh, okay, fair dues. Oh, we've discovered a recruitment agency. Lovely. Don't really know where we're going now. We're going over in the corner. Lovely. Ah, oh, smash it. I, I, oh, hang on. What, what's happened here? Ah, right, okay. That is an issue. <laughs> We've wrapped the trailer. Oh, hang on. Right, we'll, we'll sort of go round. Around this way. It's peas all over the flipping road now. Oh, that would be something else. Never mind. Ignore that. A couple of you have asked as well, how do you get the real life branding such as Sainsbury's, Primark, Tesco's? Uh, I did mean to address that and I forgot. Like the, um, the ferries as well. Um, you... It's all included in promods. It's all included in promods. Oh, what's this? We just do we just drop it here? Do not have to park it and reverse it. Well, how on earth am I meant to do that? Well, that's ridiculous. Right, so we're we're gonna have to gonna have to go backwards, aren't we? Oh, hang on, mind the gate, mind the. That would be the gate. Yeah, that that was the gate that I was meaning to mind. Right, so I'm gonna come out of here. Spin it round. Is it sort of cheating that I'm using these camera views? Probably. Right, hang on, so we're going that way. Yeah, lovely. I'm going to have to reverse in, aren't I? Now the gate's shut. Oh, it's going from bad to worse. Right, in we go. So we're going to... Do we have to stop here again? Or is it remembered? No, it seems to have remembered it. That's good. Find the, the blue thing. Look at that. This is a bit of expert parking. I think. Is it in there that they want me? I think it is. Oh, hang on. Why can't we go backwards anymore? Because I've crashed it. I've crashed into the flipping office, taking all the windows out as well. Oh, it was working as well. It was working so well. glass all over the road now. There we go, we got there in the end. E off and then uh, enter. There we go, so we did it excellent and we actually managed to get there reasonably on time as well, that'll do. Are we level 20? Come on. Oh, not quite. This is the thing when you do piddly little jobs, isn't it? You uh, you don't level up very quick. Right, well, there we go. That is where we're going to leave it for today. I do hope that you did enjoy that. I personally had a whale of a time. If you enjoyed the episode, please do show your appreciation. Click that like button and do leave a comment, of course, as to what route you want to see next. We're going to stick to Britain. Uh, I mean, there's plenty of places we've not explored, such as Southampton, Portsmouth, Canterbury, Dover, Fulkerstone. I know it's Folkestone. Don't panic. Uh, as well, places in Ireland, all up round here. There's lots of places to explore. So yeah, leave a comment where you want to see next. I can't guarantee uh, we'll pick your destination, but if you don't comment it, uh, then there's even less chance, isn't there? Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, so you never miss out on any future Euro Lorries The Second Action. And other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.